Hi, I was uh, checking out a Stack Overflow question and uh, was attempting to answer it. And this code was referenced in that uh, Stack Overflow question. And basically, it's just a um, Angular directive for uh, using the Intuit Connect button. So I decided to run it, and uh, I came up with an alternative method of uh, doing this connect button. I should say I actually didn't even get this to work, um, but uh, let me run through the steps that I did. I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to my labs folder. This is where I like to do a little staging before I perhaps put some code, public code on GitHub. And let me call this Intuit Angular. Let's switch into it. And I'm going to run the Yeoman Generator Gulp Angular to give me my scaffolding. Okay, let's run through uh, these questions here. I'm going to get 1.3, the latest. I don't need any... Oops. Of these. I don't need... It looks like that screen is stuck there with Angular Sanitize. Anyway, let me, um, I'm going to select none for uh, jQuery, don't need any of that, don't need ng resource, or router, or bootstrap, or foundation, and I just want good old CSSS. Okay, let's, I'm gonna let this run, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, I'm back, and let's do a gulp serve, make sure everything worked correctly. And, okay, we're getting an error. Let's see here. Okay, there's a problem in the events.js. Unexpected token. Okay, let me take a look here at the uh, gulp file. JS. Okay, it's just okay. It's not there. Um, let me take a look at Bower JSON file. Yeah, maybe um, Bower did not run. Let's take a look. Okay. Um, all right, unexpected token. Okay, here's an extra comma there. Uh, so perhaps with that wizard I went down in Yeoman, maybe they don't account properly for this. I could probably put in a pull request or an issue, but let's save that. Let me reinstall Bower or reinstall the Bower dependencies we're using. Okay, that looks like that went through successfully. Let me do gulp serve again. Okay. All right, so we got the basics running. Let's just close that down, go back. I'm gonna go into uh, Tmux here. I'm gonna do one of my standard Tmux templates. All right, let me explore the project here. And let me get a nerd tree in Vim. Okay, so our code is going to be in source app. Okay, index HTML. We're going to want to open that in app. Um, this generator has a, a nerd source app. We got a main controller and an index.js. Let's take a look at that. Okay, that's 
creating the main angular module okay in the controller we got some uh, things in the scope there awesome things array okay so now let me go over to this pane I'm, here I'm gonna do gulp serve and just take a look at things okay all right so here is where that main controller is go over here here's this array of things here it's being um, in an NJ repeat down there okay so I'm gonna start taking some of these things out let me start with um, just taking out the scope just to clean that up okay save that go to index HTML and also remove that NJ repeat okay here it is here Let's get rid of that okay okay and that got rid of the NJ repeat down here it's nice of course there's uh, auto loading in this generator like with the other generators and let me start to put this code in here let me grab all of this directive Let me just get the raw here, actually. Okay, and do control A, control C. And I'll make a JavaScript file here called directives. Open that up. Let me paste in all this here. Now my module name is what? Connect Intuit Angular. So I gotta put that in here. Connect Intuit Angular. And the directive is gonna be connect to QuickBooks. So let's put that directive in. Let me find a good place for it. Okay, why don't I just replace this piece here. Okay, so here's the, the directive here, connect to QuickBooks. There's the directive there in camel case. All right, so let's go over and check it out. Okay, not getting anything here. There was a little flash there. Let me just reload. Okay. So, what I need to do is in the template here, I need to, I haven't added the directives.js. So, here in the build, I need to add that. Okay, directives JS. All right, there's the connect to QuickBooks button. Let me click on it. Okay, I'm not getting anything here. That's what I mean. I didn't get it to work. Let me actually do a uh, inspect element too. This should uh, do a pop-up window where that starts the OAuth process. And what that means is, let me go back to directives is that this piece right here, this is a setup call that needs to be made that puts in the grant URL and then that it will enable you to get that pop-up. So this is not even being run either. And the first thing that kind of just jumps out at me is there's just a lot of code here. Um, 
here it's checking to uh, make sure that this script is loaded so what has to happen is you have to load in script from Intuit uh, before this button will properly work so looks like he's doing a check here and this is a hack to get the button to reload and then a scope watch is being um, used here to uh, check whether it's loaded or not I think I would just use a timeout here I don't know if we want to add something to the scope watch um, uh, of this uh, it's not data binding here we're doing so um, I just went to another approach that cuts down a lot of uh, these lines so let me demonstrate that okay so to do that let me comment I'm gonna make another I'm also gonna use the link here uh, but let me comment the rest of this out I believe it ends there me okay I just uh, saved the file so it looks like it's okay uh, the comment out is okay and I'm going to do my own link now we do need to load and let me grab this code here because we of course got to load in this script now there's nothing special about this script or the order that this script has to load in regards to uh, as you can see here in this directive we're, we're replacing uh, the directive in the HTML Oh, I'm trying to find the directive here. Here we go. Um, it's replacing this code here with this. This is from Intuit. And there's nothing special about the order that these need to be loaded in. So we don't need to be concerned about this. We just need to load this in. Um, and there's not going to be any errors thrown or anything um, when uh, we uh, do, uh, do this. So we can just load in this directive and uh, everything is going to be in the proper order. We don't need any special code to uh, decide to uh, load this in in any order. But actually this is not loading. This should be loading up the button. I should be seeing the button. Uh, let's look over here at the errors. Okay, I got an unexpected token here in the directives. I probably commented out too much. Let me match this bracket, or rather, this one up here. Okay. So it's saying that this one should be matched. Okay, so I need to move this end of comments here. Okay, let's run that. Uh, now we should see the button. Okay, so there's the button, and that's just again demonstrating that I can just load this code in and I don't need anything special about it rather any special checks before it's loaded uh, just a note here too this is uh, coming these errors are coming from Chrome extensions so I got I got a bunch of Chrome extensions here in uh, this browser instance okay so what I am gonna add here is a script on load and that will what we want to do here I'm just gonna bubble up an event so on this scope I'm gonna emit a event called Intuit JS loaded and I'm going to listen for that emit uh, by using um, scope on oops on into a JS loaded pa 
pass an anonymous function there. Takes event as the first argument. Let's get rid of that semi, put the semi here. And I'm just gonna console log just to make sure this is working. Let's take a look. And uh, here we go. In the console log right here, there is the event object. Okay, so this is a good way to do this. Um, when the script gets loaded, we're going to fire off a event and we're going to list it for it over here. Then we can call this code. This is the one we want to call. So let me grab that. And let's put that here. Let's just make this all one line too. Just clean it up a little bit. Okay. So let's go back. Now, this button should pop up. There we go. See, so now it's working. It has the grant URL uh, put in there and the button is now working properly because we're loading it right. Uh, we're running this command and we know that this script has loaded so this command is going to work. Okay, let's um, get rid of that. Let me get a little fancy here. I'm going to, in here, I'm going to replace the view with a, um, a uh, well, let me just put in the code here so I can demonstrate it better. Get rid of this. So I'm just I just added two ng shows. Uh, one will say when uh, we're not connected, we're just going to say loading the QuickBooks Connect button, and then when we are connected, we'll show that Connect button. So this connected here, I need to put into the controller, and we're going to. Just started as false first. Okay, so let's go over here. And you see we have the uh, loaded QuickBooks Connect button, and that's staying that way because we're, our default is false. So therefore, let's actually let me close this file down. Uh, let me go back to the directive here and we simply want to make this true. Okay, and save. So let's see. It should now load. Okay, so it's not loading. Or excuse me, it's not showing the correct button. It's showing this loading uh, text. And um, we're going to have to run the digest cycle here. Um, so to do that we use scope apply and let's resave it and okay there we go so now we have the connect to QuickBooks button from Intuit and um, if for some reason the code does not load the JS code does not load here this will not get run and uh, you'll just just have this loading QuickBooks connect button text. Okay, so that's an alternate way um, to do this and you can see there's quite a bit less code here. I'm going to just go through and here's all the code. I'm going to delete this but uh, I was able to do this with some less code here. So okay, thanks for watching. Hope you learned some things uh, about uh, emitting events and uh, using them to load external JavaScript files.